Hey everyone, it's Melanie of Art Studio 320. This week's project is a chest of drawers from the 1940s. I'm going to strip it down and see what we're working with and then decide from there what I'm going to do. But regardless, we gotta take the paint off. Stick around. <laughs> Yesterday I used an old lead test that Phil had and it did test negative, but I was a little concerned because it was so old. So I'm going to try this. I actually tried one. The yellow stuff got all over here, but there was nothing on here. So I'm not really sure what that means. So I'm going to use the second test. You're supposed to squeeze crush A and crush B and then shake and squeeze with the porous fiber swab tip facing down. Shake twice and squeeze gently until the yellow orange liquid comes to the tip of the swab. Okay, I did not do that before. I'm gonna crush A. Shake twice. One, two, and squeeze. Oh, okay. There it is. Now I'm going to rub on the paint for 30 seconds. And just to be sure. I'm going to take one of these little spots, make sure that it's working. So that's turning pink, so I know that this is working. Okay, well, it is kind of dirty, but it's not turning pink. So I think I'm safe. Oop. 
Okay, I'm going to take that as a yes. I mean, a, a negative. And move on. And just be careful. getting towards the end here but I just wanted to check in because there were a few things that happened that I didn't film so I wanted to catch up here um, I bought a big sheet of plywood and we cut down uh, some smaller sheets we cut three for the drawers and I say we because Phil has a circular saw and he's more comfortable using it than I am um, I have used it and I really need to start using it more, but I'm not going to apologize. <laughs> he cut it for me. So we got the bottoms to the drawers. And then I also wanted to create a cubby here. Now this had a door on it, if you remember. And I took that off and we cut three panels to put in here and create a little cubby. So I'm going to paint that and that'll be a nice little space. So this is the drawer right here. I'm going to slide that in through here. You can see the grooves here. So it's going to go in here and fill that space. And there's three of those. That's going to be a huge improvement because the bottoms were really 
bad they were broken and they're they're old so that that happens so that'll add a lot to the drawers to the whole piece I am going to be painting this whole section so I'll paint the panels before I put them in there what I have left to do is on the side here I just need to stain this I need to touch up the stain on the other side I need to stain the top it's about eight o'clock on Thursday night I'm usually editing at this point and I'm not doing that yet so my video will probably be a day late but you never know we'll see how tomorrow goes we'll see how the editing goes and we'll see how long I last tonight because I better get to it <laughs> morning it's Friday I spent last night till about quarter to ten out here working and my brain started to shut down so I, I decided to quit I made a little list this morning of all the little things I need to accomplish in order to get this finished it's nothing big but it just adds up and it's kind of overwhelming so I wanted to put a list together the first thing I noticed last night before I went in here, you can see it's lighter and lighter on the sides. Two things were happening. I'm using a water-based stain. This particular side, the wood on it is not soaking up the stain as well as I'd like. I used a damp cloth with just water on it to wet the surface so that the water-based stain would absorb better and it did work although once you wet the surface it looks darker so you can't really tell where the stain needs to go you think you know by looking at that I clearly couldn't really see what I'm going to do is use mineral spirits and just wipe everything down let it dry including the top let it dry and then I'm going to apply the water-based stain again, hoping that that helps to absorb the stain and make it a little bit more even. So cross your fingers for that one. I painted two of the three panels that I'm going to put in my cubby. The first thing I need to do is paint the bottom panel that's already in there. Uh, I'm gonna paint that I also need to finish patching that little hole that I was patching last night, sand that down, and then paint that part portion. And then I need to put the left panel in, then the right panel. Once that's done, the cubby is complete. Underneath is another problem. Last night, I was looking at the bottom of the, the cubby and noticed that there was some give there so i thought oh i'll just make sure that all the loosened nails are hammered back in unfortunately when i looked underneath because once i noticed that the the nail no matter how many times i hit it it wasn't going anywhere it was very loose underneath the part that was holding that upper panel in place the little piece that was nailed in was split so it was just going nowhere and the nail that was holding it all together was just sitting there not attached to anything because the wood is split there so it's making it bounce up and down so I have to figure out how to fix that I need to put these panels on the bottoms of the drawers and then I'll glue those in and then I will install the hardware and we should be finished. I hope that's everything. I guess it's time to stop talking and start working. Stick around. <laughs> 
My friends, that is all I have for you today. What set me back were the multiple strippings. What happened was the multiple strippings made the wood very wet. 
this environment is not conducive to drying. The stripping, it took me two days. It took a day and a half for the chest of drawers to dry enough so that I could sand it because I couldn't sand it until it was dry. It was necessary. Even though I tested for lead, I was still kind of worried. That second test I took, it was yellow, but I didn't have a whole lot of paint visible and I apologize my camera angle was really terrible but um, there was very little paint visible for me to rub the little chemicals on so I don't know I, I guess I was being extra cautious but the result is I think it looks great I mean it looks nothing like it did and just now I came out and I looked and I put the drawers in and I thought okay I mean, it looks great, but it just doesn't have that thing. I had thought about putting something in the cubby, and at the last minute, I put a stencil of a tree. I'm also excited I got to use my miter saw to make my corners and trim out my cubby. I think it looks pretty cool. For all, I think it looks great. I mean, it's an old piece. It's not perfect. If you really like an antique, you're willing to embrace all of its age. I think it's going to be a while before I take on a painted piece. Thank you for being here. Good luck on your next project. See you next time. You can do it. <laughs>Thanks for watching my video. You can find more videos just like this on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe.